Hey, let me show you something quite cool, I think. Uh, I, figured out, I figured out a way how to create a button or just any object that blinks without having a, you know, looping animation and changing the variables. So, what you need, you know, you know some sort of object. And then let's edit the state and create a state called blink. Okay, now in the blink state, we insert another object. You know, it could be the same shape or in a different color, but uh, maybe we just want the corner of the object to be blinking. Now, um, let's do the animations for this object. Let's say fade in, fade out. Okay done uh, actually let's go back we need to do uh, some sort of trick now let's cut this done paste and now let's create a variable called blink which is a true false variable and it's gonna be false by default now let's create a new trigger Let's adjust the variable blink to not assignment. So just change it to whatever else it's going to be. If it's true, it's going to be now false. And if it's not false, it's going to be true and so on. So adjust the variable blink when animation completes our over one entrance. So when it fades in. And now we want to do the same thing for when it fades, fades out. So exit. And now let's cut the object, edit state, go in the blink and paste it here. And what happens is that you can bring in the triggers with the object itself. Although you cannot delete, you cannot change the triggers here. However, you can still bring them in with the object itself. And now we just need two more triggers. Let's change the state of our rectangle to blink when variable changes of course under the condition that the variable blink equals true so we know the default is it's false and it's going to be now true and now let's paste this and we want it to change then back to the normal state so variable true to the rectangle one to state normal when blink is equal to false okay if you if we preview this the states won't change because the variable the variable doesn't change it stays at the false we want this object to start blinking when the timeline ends for example so we create another trigger adjust the variable blink not assignment when any timeline ends Untitled slide, untitled slide. Let's preview. Okay, and timeline ends. And as you can see, our lovely blinking circle is here.